What is going on YouTube family and welcome back to a video. I ha I know I haven't made one in a, in a minute. I have a lot of things, a lot of clips from uh, streams in my playlist that I'm going to make public soon, hopefully by Friday. Um, I didn't gather as much, but they're going to be made public anyways. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this whole Skull Trooper, Gold Trooper, whatever it's called, um, returning, whatever. A lot of people keep asking me if I've, you know, heard about all the leaks and informations around the web saying that, you know, it's a huge possibility that it's going to come out on July 13th, which is this Friday, Friday the 13th, basically. And, uh, people keep asking me my opinions, but a lot of people keep saying it is already proven that it will come back, um, uh, because they've watched, like, certain YouTubers, like, Ghost, who's a retard, literally a retard, um, who acts like he got, like, some professional freaking person that leaks information, or, you know, he acts like he got people over at Fortnite that release private information. Guys, I want to go ahead and make this clear. No one from Fortnite, no devs or anything like that will ever talk to anybody and release stuff, especially pertaining to Fortnite, which is the most popular game right now. Nobody will share that information. That is class information that is in that circle of Fortnite developers, devs or developers. Um, there's really no hard proof out there. There's only accusations and theories. Like, my theory for the Fortnite was that it's just a normal skin, guys. Everybody wanted it to be a rare skin, and, you know, they were like, Fortnite, Epic loves us, they'll never do that to us. Oh, geez, guys, man, I, I've been telling you, man, they're just skins in a free game. It's a free game, guys. At the end of the day, it's a free game. The only thing you're paying for, man, is cosmetics. If you didn't pay for any of that, you're you're a G. Like literally, you're you're an OG, man. That's what man, that's what that's what's gonna make you an OG at the end of the day, man. But don't get me wrong though, the theories are they're good. They're good. You know, I I can't really knock on the people that keep saying that it, 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 there's a possibility that it will come out Friday Friday the thirteenth. Now the people that say it's a possibility, I'm so with them on that. You know, I'm I'm with that. But the people that say it is. No one knows that, man. I'm not going to ever sit here and decline that any skin will never come back out. Um, like this, you know, the Skull Trooper or the Gold Trooper or anything like that. I do believe every skin in the game will eventually come back out when no one knows, but they eventually will drop out. Um, the only things that are exclusive, man, and I always touch this topic, is the things that are in the Battle Pass. You know, people keep asking me about the whole uh, gifting shop, you know, that's going to be coming out soon. We've known about this for a while, you know, basically trading skins. People keep acting like they're going to be able to trade their Battle Pass skins, like, you know, the Black Knight. And that's that's a huge no. That's not going to happen. If you have, if Epic, or not Epic, if Fortnite had told you, they told they told everybody this, they told you if you did not unlock them, they will never return. And if you have to pay for tiers to unlock those items and they give you even extra days, those are exclusive. Those will never come back out. And I do not personally see why those will even be available for trading if you had the same chance to get them. If you didn't play the game back then, yo, man, that sucks. Let me go grab you a box of tissues, right? You're never going to get those skins. Big whoop. Cry about it. Move on. Um, but I do believe the Skull Trooper and the Gold Trooper and all these other Halloween costumes um, will come out. And I do believe that the theories are kind of good. I mean, not believe, but I, you know, they're, they are kind of good theories, right? They're just skins. At the end of the day, they will eventually come back out. But I do believe that the Halloween skins do pertain to like a certain theme. Now it's not like the Red Knight. Everybody acted like the Red Knight was a seasonal tooth, you know, skin because of the Knights that I, and I said, that does not mean a damn thing at all. And guess what? It's kind of the same thing for the, you know, the Halloween skins, but they were like Halloween skins. Those are kind of theme. I I know that the, you know, the Christmas skins came out recently, and I do believe those will be coming out soon, by the way. Don't know when, but I do believe those are on their way to come back out. But I do believe that the Skull Trooper and the Go Trooper and all the other Halloween skins or whatever do pertain to a certain theme, which will be like Friday the 13th, would be kind of a good one. So that's why I'm saying, you know, I'm not denying that it's not going to come out, but... It's not a bad theory on why it might come out on Friday the 13th because it is a little scary, little Halloween-ish type thing, right? So, I mean, if you, I don't really know off the top of my head, but from Halloween to Friday the 13th or Friday the 13th to Halloween, there's really no other scary days coming along, right? All you ever know about is Friday the 13th and Halloween. So, it's a, it's a big possibility and that would be a huge banger if you think about it. The release of Season 5 and you get the Skull Trooper and the Gold Trooper Halloween skins. That'll be a huge banger. It's all possibilities. It's all in the air. But that's my take. People keep asking me in streams, 
you know, if I see in the leaks or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Guys, I just want to say at the end of the day, people like Ghost, who's a complete retard little kid, um, has no proof. No one from Fortnite talks to him. No one shares like that classified information with him or his, you know, all the other little leakers online. Don't get me wrong. I do like the people that do leak the stuff, you know, like the skins, the new skins that are going to be coming out, the new gliders and new emotes. Shout out to uh, Fortnite leak FNR, I believe his name is. But if not, I'll leave him in the description. The guy's pretty beast. Him and somebody else that I pay attention to. I do respect those guys. They do some hard work, you know, props to them. But no one talks about that, man. No, no leakers will even have information about something returning again. You know, that's like Red Knight. No one knew that it was going to return. Like, it was a fact. Like, it wasn't in any, you know, codes or anything like that. It wasn't coded. That stuff is on Fortnite's server side. No one got that information to get into that. And if someone breaks into that, they're being sued. So, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You guys have a great day. Peace out.